Guys, spill the beans. So, great question. Uh, this is a question a lot of people ask. Basically, like you said, having an event, local event is amazing, but the question is how you fill the room, right? That's the big thing. So I remember very, I cannot forget that day when you picked up the phone and called me, right? It was only three three weeks left? I, it was, it was well, less, a un, little under a month. Yeah. And then Shazad was you in a meeting at that time. And then I answered the phone. I saw you calling. I said, he said, guys, we have a problem here. Because at that time, our Facebook marketing it just was went. not taking off. Yeah. And we had what? I think 80? Only 80, yeah. 80, 85 people. Yeah. 80, 85 people. And that was not from Facebook. So where yeah. did those 80, 85 come from? Those were from our list. Our list. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. just so everyone knows, you've done multiple events in the Toronto area and you have a local student database, right? right. So for everyone listening right now, if you start doing events, one after the other, after the other, after the other, you'll slowly build a list of people who come and uh -huh. it'll grow over time and it will get to a point where, you know, it'll be big enough that, hey, 80. I mean, if you have 200 goal and you sold 80 seats already, that's 40%. Yep. Right, yeah, just yeah. without any work, just sending email to the list. Yep. So that's how the 80 got there. But now you still had 120 more to go. Yes. So, okay. Back. So that was, so the when you called, that was like a, basically someone has dropped a bomb basically, right? Because time was of the essence and yeah. you said guys Renee uh, Shad, we need to make this happen and uh, and we were also worried we realized that because uh, at the time we were just doing it right we were going with the flow and being an entrepreneur you just you're fighting basically you're trying to get move ahead and not realizing like not looking at the matrix right now the numbers and then when we did when you called they said wow so guess what happened we I called text Shazad basically kind of quote right we have another thing what do we do i said we need to talk yeah. and then we, we told our assistant sonia that we are and our staff we are ha having an emergency meeting yeah. because and also our marketing guys that so we went to the boardroom closed the doors and i told so hold on pause i have a question so before my phone call what was your feeling? Were you thinking, oh, okay, fine, we'll let it be, whatever we can get in the room? Or was it just that you were so busy in all the business and all that, it, it didn't click until I called? No, what happened is, if you remember, um, the, the Facebook guy yeah. who was doing it, he had sent us an email saying we are having some issues. Yeah. Um, but we didn't think that he will say, well, I'm raising my hand, I give up. I'm okay. not doing anything. So you were thinking this will turn on he's, any day. Yeah, he's, okay. he's going to fix it and then yeah. it, it like, four or five days gone by yeah and then finally we said we'll talk to you yeah and when when he spoke with you it seems like this door is closed uh. there is no other like this guy cannot start anymore yeah and then we realized we are in real trouble yeah. i mean we never thought that we are three and a half weeks away and this thing will shut down and say nothing can happen yeah and that we never thought actually i i and, still never had and that remember yeah. we always talked about it then most of the tickets are sold in last couple of weeks yeah. and the most tickets are sold in last few days. So that was our mindset and we were we were doing all those little things, working with our list and all that. But our main goal was uh, this Facebook, which we you introduced uh, in the beginning of this uh, yeah. podcast. And and so that call with Rene just basically um, that was like a bomb to us. Yeah. And really, I mean, I wouldn't lie. He wouldn't lie. It was like you kind of, what is happening? Like you feel hot inside. What is going to happen? Your mind's going like everywhere. You're thinking, you're bringing Anik to Toronto. He's coming very first time. He trusted us because we told him, Mr. No matter what happens, we need to bring people. This show is not going to be canceled. So, so let me let me tell you something. This is really interesting because this is the first time I'm hearing behind the yeah. scenes. Let me explain how the call went with Renee though. I said Renee, uh, how many seats? Eighty. I said, okay, uh, what's going to happen? Oh, no problem. I said really? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Uh, I said, well, Facebook's not working. We don't, we're not able to turn it on. I don't know what else to do. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, no problem. We have shows coming up. We have this. We're not worried about it. So, so we'll get 200, 100%. There will be 200. Don't worry. Yeah. The event's not getting canceled. We are good. I, I honestly walked away. I was like, okay. Yeah. All systems ahead. I had no idea. Of it. So this is good, right? See yeah. this? Yeah. 
this is great for us to learn. Like, if you are having a panic attack in your mind, don't tell your clients about it or whoever. Oh, no. You know, it's do like, it and 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 pick up the hustle. Call the emergency meeting. Stop yeah. what you're doing. Call a yeah. war room. Oh, oh, this this is cool. I'm enjoying the story. So, so please, this go is ahead. what yeah. we did. So we had uh, events booked, right? So yeah. what we did. So we we got our team working on uh, trying to find all the events, local events, like business business expos and business startup shows. They were going on in Toronto. So we basically <coughs> booked all of them. And sometimes we were double booked. So Shazad will go take the team. We split into two, one side, and then I'll go into another one to promote your event. Mm -hmm. And that's why how we got the tickets sold too. Mm. So that was, we knew, see, like Shazad said, we didn't know the complexity of the Facebook ad was not working. Yeah. So when our the Facebook ad specialists said that we are having issues, so, but we did not know the extent of the issues yeah. till we talked to you yeah. that uh, the ads were not getting approved and everything. So, but we came around that too. We got going with that too. And we did end up selling some tickets, right? Yeah. For, from Facebook too. So how many tickets did you end up selling? So uh, let, let's step back real quick before we go back to Facebook. So you book these business expos because you told me, I think mm -hmm. at that time you were like, we have three events coming up. Yeah, how do I find these? Are they going on in all cities? Like right now I'm in the DC area. I don't know about any of these. How yeah, do you find these They should be events? going in all cities. Most of the cities they have this trade. Is there they, a website yeah. if you, you if No, if you Google um, uh, business expos in Maryland or business okay. shows or exhibitions or something, huh. okay. it will come. I mean, you will you will have plenty of shows. The only thing you have to do you have to go into each and every details and see who is coming. So for example, in our case, we were looking for entrepreneurs. Mm. So we have to go to business shows, mm. not um, uh, a bridal show, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> we need to understand which uh, category we are Your looking de demographics, for. Now, yeah. when, we, when we had this event, we already had, I think one or two shows already three, booked. Three shows were three booked. Shows booked. But when you, when we had this call, we Bo went bigger. We, went we said, okay, you know what? Even we have these days left, we, we need to book every single thing. In fact, one of the shows was one and one hour and 45 minutes away from our Toronto. Wow. And we said, you know, we'll go. The place called uh, <coughs> Hamilton, 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 yeah. Hamilton, Hamilton. And now some of the shows we know will produce results and some of the shows we just want to go. So when you say you're at a show, it's like a booth. It's like right, a booth. Yeah. You, you have a booth, a couple of you standing at the booth, yes. everyone's walking by yes. and you're just, you're, you're talking about your company, yes. selling ticket to the other. Yes. Yes. So yes. how many did you sell that way by having booths? So think it this way, uh, in, in some uh, shows, zero. Okay. <laughs> like no one wants to buy. Wow. So the quality of those people were bad, Yeah. absolutely bad. And some of them we were able to sell 25, 26. Okay. Right. So this is how uh, with six or seven shows, we were able to pull 120 or something. So in this case, then quite a few of the people at this event did not know you. No, no. So let me ask you this, because the buyers that we got, the people who bought, they're amazing buyers. I mean, I'm getting to know some of you. They're good. What we would call good buyers because they're good students. They listen. They're not complaining. They have realistic approach to business. So is that just how Canadians are or do all or are, are, are all the buyers people that knew you like of like of our 200 audience? It was really portion of that 80 that bought the others didn't buy. No, it. but do you remember during the event? I asked how many of you are look, uh, seeing me very first time yeah, it was and a lot. more than half of the room says they're seeing us first time. So they were all strangers. So a lot of the buyers that have even traveled here to this event or a lot of the ones who bought the program, were I, a lot of them people who, who had no idea who you were? It's a mix. There was mix. a mix. There okay. was a big mix. I would say I would say 50%. Okay. 60, yeah. So good. 60, so those, 60, 40, those, those yeah. tickets did at least turn into sales and revenue eventually. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you see, um, we we had shows booked which because we knew this will produce results. Mm -hmm. But after the panic attack, we had to go to the shows. We didn't even know what's going to produce. Okay. It's just we had to we had to do it. We, we had to, no other we choice. We had to get your name out there. Right? And so, the lesson there is you had to start moving. Yes. It didn't matter if the move would go bad or good. You just had to carry momentum. Yes. You needed to create momentum. Create a momentum. Yes. Exactly. And so many people, we don't. So many entrepreneurs end up not doing that. Yes. They, they give up. They, they give up. Yes. You see, it, it was easy. Oh, Facebook didn't work. I don't know. I mean, and I'm so sorry. We tried our best. No, we did not try our best. Yeah. I mean, 
we discuss this we'll do everything we can we'll will like at the end we should not say i wish yeah. we could have done this yeah. no there is no wish so let's do everything we can and we didn't think about how much money is going to be spent because that's about reputation that's about commitment okay uh, are, i wish everyone yeah. in the world could just yeah. think like that it would yeah. help make the world a better place exactly yeah. you know what yeah. we get there a lot like you said and we were bringing you and especially and first time ever you coming to toronto and we have a rep- reputation to live up to yeah. and we didn't so when basically that call was a wake, wake up call when we found out the facebook now is not working so we said okay we cannot rely us only on facebook uh, ads but we need to do local events and then also affiliate marketing we uh, we went out reached out our assistant the team was working hard reaching out to people who we, we had done events before and then they they helped sell yeah. few tickets too yeah. so i think 25 tickets 30 tickets were sold that way too so it's just a you can say combination of going to trade shows local shows and affiliate marketing it's also still works yeah boots Jay. on the ground yeah. uh, you went you just hit it hard in every direction i can't help but think wonder what would have happened if facebook had worked the whole time would have been easy more than 350 yeah could have had 300 yeah. 350 yeah. people in the easy yeah. so thank you for that facebook thank you for for yeah. for not working with us yeah. which till this day is a mystery so now you uh so give, i'll give everyone the background of that basically uh i have a very good friend of mine and he's very good at facebook he's he's helped me he's run some of my campaigns he's ninja at what he yeah he's super good he's great at design copy click funnel i mean he he can he's like this and this guy i would watch him he's 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 here at the learn center i watched this guy till 10 at night he's stressing over this campaign every ad we launch gets uh 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 declined every ad declined every ad declined then we add thing then we did a uh, uh, messenger ads which doesn't even talk about the event doesn't even link to the event Okay? Just to test it. It's like hi, hello, I'm on a click message. It was as stupid as that. Yeah. Declined. So at that point we knew something this is not going to resolve. That was when we said, okay, we've tried literally everything under the sun. Yes. It's not going to resolve. And um we had to throw in the hat and it still stings him till this moment. It stings him. Yeah, he we yeah. met him yesterday. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah I it still stings him. He's yeah. still like what the, what he the was heck scratching happened? his head and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said he said don't pull your hair. He <laughs> but he was so stressed just thinking they they may think that I didn't do everything. I said no, I they'll know you did everything just from yeah. the work that we've done. Okay, so but when we met then after the event was over and it was a huge success, we went to Starbucks, we were hanging out um and then you guys told me, "Hey, we were able to get Facebook turned back on from another company." And that that like shook my ground I'm like what it was like a big ego thing like no way so what happened how did you what how did you do that like how come all of us on Facebook was okay with it then well um i think um uh, it was just because we used a different account different ad account yeah, different so account, you basically yeah. went to a different agency yeah. different and they yeah. put a new yeah. ad account that had no history so yeah. something got triggered in that ad account which is looping be, declines now the funny thing is that account that i uh, was declined we didn't use that because you know we we are coming into digital marketing or a online. facebook advertisement or online uh, marketing we haven't done our business with facebook and all that yeah. so that account was pretty new Domain, like yeah. we we haven't hit that account so much and that was uh, the first time not first time i would say second time where we were trying, trying to, to use, use yeah. and something happened so here's the good news right so as we wrap up this round everyone who's listening you don't need to use facebook ads yes. to fill a room If you don't want to use Facebook ads, we did it. We tried, we failed. Right? Like I'm using Facebook ads right now to fill a room we have coming up for an event on August 10th, 24 days to go, way undersold by the way. You know why? why? Because the last 2 to 3 weeks, the ads just weren't getting up. Not getting they were not getting declined. It was just more of our a team issue. We were having our own issues. We get them up, they weren't quite right, they weren't clicking well. So last night I sat down, we did a full revamp. Full revamp of the ads. Um now in this ad account luckily we don't have those issues they the ads get approved but I realized 24 days to go we have to sell a lot of tickets but it's a different story because our ads are starting to do well now so ads start to do well okay no problem yeah. 24 days is a lifetime right because yeah. yeah. as you said most events they get sold on the last couple of weeks last, last, couple, week, yeah. last yeah. few days when everyone buys i hate that about people yeah. but then i do the same thing i'm going to an event this week and i bought the ticket like Two days ago, yeah. even though I was watching yeah. it for like weeks, and I, yeah. so um, that's a good tip to know for everyone who's if you if you uh, announce an event and you're trying to sell tickets and you're a month or two months ahead, and and everyone says you have to start talking about it months ahead. 
Mm-hmm. You know, people need to hear it. People just let it oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. They need yeah. to hear it. It's like multiple times. But what happens is very it's very um it's uh it's what's the word I'm looking for? Deflating. Yeah. Because the first month you'll be like, Man, I've like sold five tickets. I need fifty yeah. people, sixty people. But then all of us just keep at it, keep yeah. at it, keep at it. And all of a sudden, those people you've been talking to, they start to buy. Yeah. And then momentum picks up. And then before you know it, four days to go to the event, you're sold out. Exactly. Yes. You know? Yes. And so think about this. Announce an event for your business, your niche. Don't do 200 people. 200 people, you need a different kind of room, hotels, AV, 50 people. You can do it in a conference room. You can do 10 people. people. 10 people. Yeah. Yes. Our first event, we had 11 people. Out awesome. of those 11, nine of them were friends who I called yeah. them three times to make sure, yeah, please show, show up. up yeah. Right. So really, I mean, if anyone is watching, listening to this, think this way. You're not going to have 100 people in the room very first time. Yeah. You don't think that, you know, no one knows you. Someone will show up. Yeah. And don't, I learned something. If even if one mm-hmm. person show, you have to use the same energy. Same energy what you were planning to do with 50 See, people. See, um, Brendan Burchard's story, I was listening once, and he says that when he wanted to get into speaking, he hit the road and he would do 20 people, 22 people. And he said he would show up early. You know, um, Grant Cardona was listening to him. He did his events. He was to show up. He said he was so cheap he wouldn't buy a mic, so he kept shouting. And he has lifelong damage now um, to his uh, to his vocal cords. Mm-hmm. These are people who've become now, you look at and they say, oh, these are big speakers. They started in rooms of 20, 30, 40 people. Yep. And by the way, I'm not asking you to do an event to become a speaker. I'm asking you to do an event to create some momentum in yes. your yes. business, in your in local your market. So even if you're a rose gardener, let's get 50 rose gardeners in a room yes. locally in one room. Imagine what will happen to your business, the context yeah. and network mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. So very powerful. I want to move on, guys, um, because uh, so what happened is this this is the series of stories. So I, I almost didn't want to give away this story, but since I practice full transparency with our listeners, I'm going to do it. Um, I was so impressed. You know, uh, when I work with people, I never get overexcited too early. Uh, I test everybody. Okay. Um, and so we did this event and you guys will remember the last thing I said to you, and I got in the car, you were taking me to the hotel and uh, you were taking me back to the hotel. The first of, uh, this was actually the second, second event, time, the yeah. second, second event. Second, yeah. And this was when you had won me over. So they delivered it, every single thing they said. And I asked about one of your main businesses that you had spoken a lot about, but I had not asked before this. I had not been willing to put any money into it. And that was your real estate business. You pulled up to the uh, right uh, to the front of the hotel. And this was planned on my part. I That was my active decision. I said, OK, I want to do more business with them. And I asked you, can you tell me more about the real estate business that you have and how I can buy properties through you and with you? And and uh, that was when um, you pulled out a nice impressive check someone had given you for a property and you mm. talked about it and we all agreed because no one's in a rush we said hey listen it's been a long day we'll talk and then it wasn't another two weeks till we got on the phone and talked yep. yes. because we let things happen organically and now we're in a position where i'm genuinely wanting to buy multiple properties with you and actually the other way i'm pushing now i'm sending the i'm like <laughs> go find me properties they're like okay we're going here i said no go more places find quicker faster my wife was like how long is it going to take she's i said six months she's like six months how about six weeks how about six days like, so so but this is organic business growth yeah, right you, like did you have to pitch me not no, at all you not never at all. pitched me you no. delivered value now i'm asking you yeah, really, how do you do more business there, there is no um you know every time we try to push something it doesn't happen it doesn't work yeah. it doesn't work and and um uh, this is another thing I have, I have learned and we have learned, we are not here to sell, we are here to serve. Yeah. And if we understand this concept, it's easy. We are not here to make customers, we are here to make clients because clients are for lifetime, customers is one time. I like that. So, so basically okay. this model, this philosophy has been working for us for a number of years and it's so smooth, we never have to push anyone. Yeah. I love it. And uh, love going it. back to the check that you <laughs> you mentioned it happened that we had the event yeah. people who bought at the uh, first yeah. seminar and they came to the training workshop and that's when you you came to yeah. clue again with your team and then we were dropping you to the hotel and then that at that meeting the, the our clients they came with the check because yeah. that the weekends are the only days they they avail they are available so they came and they without any receipt nothing they just dropped out the check because we helped them. We got them into real estate. What's seven, five, seven years ago, right? Six years ago. Six years ago, and we showed them how to pay off, pay down their mortgage, everything. So there was cash equity coming, and they're not business people. They're not entrepreneurs. They're working like working yeah. class, and 
but they have the trust and faith in us. That's where it, it puts a lot of sh- pressure, uh, pressure on us pressure and on us, yeah. basically gives us the power to go because yeah, yeah, these yeah. people are trusting us. So that's when they dropped off the it, check. It was, al- it was almost perfect. Like it was almost like it was planted. So I turned yeah. around and I'm like, guys, so we don't talk about the real estate. They're like, here's a big check that we just got today. And I'm and like, oh and my here's God. The, that was like, here's really, the date. Yeah, the date. Yeah, I was like, wow, that, that was, but, <laughs> was, but of course I never, I, I trusted. By this point, the trust was established. So none of that yeah. stuff mattered. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about what you do because I, we talked about it earlier. I never got it. Now I get it. Now I get it so well, I want to put a lot of money into it. And so I think our listeners would appreciate it too. So let's move into round number three. Hey, before we get started, I just want to invite you to learn.com, L-U-R-N.com. Listen, we're going to be putting 10 million entrepreneurs into this community so we can work together. We already have over 100 courses there. Go to learn.com, L-U-R-N.com. It's free. It's absolutely free to sign up, a lifetime membership for free. We have 265,000 members right now. We're going to grow that to 10 million. You can either sit aside and watch us fly by, or you can join this movement. So I want to invite you again, learn.com, L-U-R-N.com. Get your membership, log in, and start are up leveling your skills and let's build our businesses together all right i'll see you inside learn and now back to the episode <laughs>